I do like looking at paintings, and they, the more you look at some of them, the more rewarding it is actually. So those are the ones that, that you feel really special. I was running a gallery for somebody else, which is all well and good, and I learned a lot. And then Patrick, uh, my husband, had take, got the lease on this shop and asked me if I'd like to come and work for him. This was before we were married. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So I uh, joined forces with him. But in fact, as things turned out, we came in as full partners because we each had a slightly different take on what, what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it. And it just built from there. We started by borrowing a few paintings, then we bought a few paintings, and let's see. But it was, it was sort of organic, I suppose. And now, Claudia, you're working with us. Um, you've been here ever since day one. Yeah. Um, she used to play on the floor. And I think this was my cot, actually. This one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you put in yeah. And then the first thing Claudia I ever had to say was, pictures don't touch. So, <laughs> uh, well, there were occasions when uh, Yes, there was quite a bad occasion when I... We, well, you we used to bring paintings home to store because it's in the last place. Or to here. deliver or whatever. And um, I once saw this picture of a portrait of a young girl. I thought she looked a bit sad. So I um, took it upon myself to edit the painting and found a bright red permanent marker and uh, drew two bright rosy cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> so that had to go straight to the store <laughs> the next day. <laughs> and there was definitely pictures don't touch after that. Yeah. One. But uh, I think it's in the blood now. So. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer now. It's crucial. It's a shop front, not just to the people who come in here, but internationally. And it definitely helps, even for people in the UK. Even people live down the street, they come in and they sort of get a flavour, and they're often in a hurry. And we just say, well, here's our card. Look at the website. People love that feeling of the buffer between themselves and and you because everything's online now, and people love to be able to sit in their own home in their own time and sort of look through things and get a sense for it themselves. You know, it's a great way for us to get even more out there than we would have in the shop, even though we try and cram as much as possible in here. It's very straightforward. It doesn't take any time at all to you know, get everything uploaded and onto the site. You are definitely very approachable. You mm. come to the art first, yeah, see exactly. who you are. It's not just something that you're dealing with a little photograph on, on a website. Um, you are there, you, you know, flesh and blood, and you come and you talk to us, you always make a point of coming yeah. and finding us at the fairs, seeing how things are, which is really quite rare. It and, is really And rare. I think that that is actually essentially very important, particularly for somebody like me, who is not really very good at all that. I would feel quite comfortable ringing up and saying, help, Claudia's away, <laughs> what do I do? Because yeah. I know who you are. Exactly. We've worked together for about six years now, and I think part of it is the fact that we do have quite separate roles, yeah. like I said at the beginning, although we do a lot together, it's very sort of um, seamless in a sense, but Claudia has changed my way of thinking because I never had any job with the internet, and in fact the first came to help me yeah, with the internet, started, and then the next yeah. thing I knew was, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> so the next thing is one, not one day of every two weeks, it was so on and so forth, mm. it's just progressed to that. And the next thing I knew, I just looked at the way our business was going and um, literally we doubled our sales. So I thought, hmm, that's got something to do with it. So the internet and the website and everything was, was actually vital.